welcome back. Now, as most of the Football Friday Night family knows by now, the Greenwood Bulldogs have had to deal with things that no team, school, town, or anyone should with the tragic passing of Isaiah Arrington just over a week ago. However, they have valiantly taken the field these last two Fridays to honor his memory and while still in mourning, had the chance tonight to secure the 6A West title against Mountain Home in our game of the week. Isaiah very clearly there in spirit tonight with the team carrying his name on their backs on the first drive of the game for the Bulldogs. Kalo Jasna running it in for six, making it look easy and sending a message. Bulldogs lead early, moving ahead now on the other side of the field. Bulldogs going to get the ball back after some copious celebration in the end zone. Midfield rain causing a slippery ball. Mountain Home jumps on it, but nothing is going to come from it. So second quarter Greenwood ball from inside the Bombers 10. Kane Archer searching, searching. You know what? I'm just going to do it myself. He just makes the right decision, takes it, and Bulldogs are up 14-0. Mountain Home now going to get into the red zone on their next drive, looking to answer, but they are forced to kick a field goal in the final seconds. But the snap's bottled, and Bryce Kincaid's pass is going to be, wait for it, intercepted by Cash Archer to end the quarter. The Archer family doing it all tonight as the Bulldogs top Mountain Home 42 to nothing to secure the conference. Our Robin Hearn was there and has more on their big win. Even a little rain did not stop the Greenwood Bulldogs from taking this 6A West Conference title in shutout fashion over Mountain Home. Even though the rain slowed things down for both teams, Greenwood used the run game to their advantage in the first half. As the rain stopped, the Bulldogs picked things up, scoring twice in the third quarter and again in the fourth and even added another one to take this one 42 to zero. The defense did their thing by keeping the Bombers run game at bay and stalling anything from the air. Had some people over in their, their radio booth or TV station talking about the bombs they were going to drop on our defense and Coach Gill found that clip and showed it to our guys and I tell you what I think got them fired up. And on a night like tonight is the best day to propel themselves in to that number one seed in the playoff standings. Green would be back at home on November 22nd and who they'll be playing that will be determined later in Greenwood. Robin Hearn, five new sports.